In a significant development for Ukraine's military capabilities, German defense company Rheinmetall has confirmed that the first batch of KF-41 Lynx tracked armored infantry fighting vehicles, IFVs, will be delivered to Ukraine by the end of 2024. This initial delivery will consist of 10 vehicles, as reiterated by Rheinmetall CEO Armin Papager in an interview with Weltam Sontag on October 26, 2024. This delivery marks a pivotal milestone in the collaboration between Rheinmetall and Ukraine, following the signing of a Memorandum of Understanding MAO earlier this year aimed at bolstering Ukraine's defense. The agreement to deliver the Lynx vehicles comes on the heels of a June 2024 announcement that Rheinmetall and the Ukrainian government had agreed to commence local production of the Lynx armored vehicles. This partnership was officially recognized during the Ukraine Recovery Conference held in Berlin, showcasing the deepening defense collaboration between Germany and Ukraine. Ukrainian Strategic Industries Minister Oleksandr Kamyshin announced that the first Lynx vehicle manufactured in Ukraine is expected to be completed by the end of the year. This announcement coincides with the inauguration of Rheinmetall's first facility in Ukraine, which initially focuses on repairing military vehicles. However, it is set to transition to full-scale production of armored systems in the future. This facility will collaborate with the state-owned defense company Ukroboronprom, furthering Ukraine's efforts to localize arms manufacturing. The KF-41 Lynx is a state-of-the-art infantry fighting vehicle based on a tracked armored chassis developed by Rheinmetall. Designed to address the challenges of modern warfare, the KF-41 emphasizes modularity, flexibility, and advanced protection. First unveiled in 2018 at the Eurosatory Defense Exhibition in Paris, the KF-41 is an evolution of its predecessor, the KF-31, offering enhanced firepower and adaptability. One of the key features of the KF-41 is its modular design, allowing it to be customized for various combat roles beyond infantry fighting, including command and control, reconnaissance, and medical evacuation. This versatility is vital for modern military operations, where different mission requirements necessitate adaptable platforms. Equipped with a 30mm or 35mm automatic cannon housed in the Advanced Lance 2.0 turret, the KF-41 can also be fitted with anti-tank guided missiles, ATGMs, providing robust firepower against armored threats. The KF-41's advanced protection capabilities are among its main strengths. The vehicle features modular armor designed to counter various threats, including rocket-propelled grenades, RPGs, and anti-tank missiles. Additionally, it can be equipped with active protection systems, APS, and NBC, nuclear, biological and chemical protection, ensuring crew safety in diverse combat environments. Mobility is another crucial aspect of the KF-41. With a powerful 1,140-horsepower Liebherr diesel engine, the vehicle can reach speeds of up to 70 km per hour, 43 miles per hour, and has an operational range of 500 km, 311 miles. This mobility enables it to navigate different terrains and sustain long missions without the need for frequent refueling. The KF-41 is designed to carry a crew of three, commander, gunner, and driver, while also accommodating up to eight fully equipped soldiers in its rear compartment, ensuring effective and safe troop deployment in combat scenarios. Since its launch, the KF-41 has garnered significant interest from various nations. Hungary was the first customer in 2020, ordering 218 Lynx vehicles to modernize its armed forces. Other countries, including Australia, have expressed interest, with the Lynx being a contender in Australia's Land 400 Phase 3 program. The demand for the KF-41 is particularly pronounced in the context of the ongoing conflict in Ukraine, which has underscored the urgent need for modern versatile combat vehicles. The war has revealed vulnerabilities in Ukraine's existing fleet, much of which consists of outdated Soviet-era vehicles. The need for heavily armored, mobile and adaptable vehicles capable of withstanding modern threats, such as anti-tank missiles and artillery strikes, is critical. The KF-41's high firepower, robust protection, and versatility position it as one of the leading infantry fighting vehicles available today. It is tailored to perform effectively in both high-intensity conflicts and peacekeeping missions. Given the protracted nature of the conflict, Ukraine is prioritizing the localization of arms production to sustain its defense efforts. The establishment of repair and production facilities for vehicles like the KF-41 Lynx reflects Kiev's strategy to build a more self-reliant defense industry. This approach not only secures a continuous supply of modern vehicles, but also enhances Ukraine's ability to maintain and repair its fleet domestically. Overall, 
Ukraine's focus on acquiring technologically advanced and adaptable combat vehicles is crucial to meeting the demands of a modern battlefield while reducing reliance on foreign supplies. The KF-41 Lynx represents a significant step forward in this ongoing effort, ensuring that Ukraine can effectively respond to evolving threats in its quest for security and stability.